All right, welcome everybody. Today we are going to continue with our exploration of flow, in particular about how to experience flow in your body and how to enjoy your body more. My name is Nick Redmark. I'm a coach engineer because I use the engineering skills to the personal development problem and I develop tools that I present to you on a daily basis, or at least that's the plan. Let's jump into the topic, how to find more enjoyment in the body. And it might sound like a trivial thing, like, oh, you want to experience more pleasure in the body. But we already talked about this. There is a difference between pleasure and enjoyment that makes enjoyment much richer. The core difference is that in pleasure, you as a person don't grow. Your world doesn't become more sophisticated. With enjoyment, you are actively engaging with the world and as such, your world becomes more complex and you become more sophisticated as a person. Now, there is good news because everything the body can do is potentially enjoyable. And the next quote is among my favorite and most optimistic quotes from the whole book. When left undeveloped, the senses give us chaotic information. An insensitive eye presents ugly or interesting sights. And this is just a little snippet. He talks about how all the senses, about how your body is clumsy if it's untrained, how your sense of taste is dull if, if, in, if untrained. And so there is such optimism in this statement. If the world around you is boring, it doesn't mean that the world itself is boring. It means that you haven't put enough effort into training your senses to really find the enjoyment that is available. And, and that to me is an extremely positive statement and an extremely hopeful statement. So for example, sights, hearing, taste offer an almost unlimited amount of enjoyment, but only to persons who work to develop the skills they require. And so this is going to be a common theme that we see. Fun fact, it doesn't matter how expensive the activities are you make. In fact, more expensive activities, statistically speaking, make people actually less happy to do them. Now let's go systematically through all the sources of enjoyment that you can find in your body. The first we mentioned is athletic performance, the desire to become better at whatever you're doing, to throw better, to run faster, and so on and so forth. Again, we must denote that this is a type of enjoyment that is not only available to athletes, everyone can push themselves to their own limit. And important is that we don't approach working out as a must, as a duty, because otherwise the enjoyment will never really occur. Because again, enjoyment doesn't depend on what you do, but how you do it. Let's move on. Another source of enjoyment is rhythmic or harmonious movement, such as dancing. Then what we have is mimicking and acting. And then the one you perhaps thought about, sex itself. And there too, it's interesting how sex, uh, which is an easy source of pleasure, um, after a while can become boring as well. So uh, at first it is very easy to obtain pleasure from sex and even to enjoy it. But over time, then this decreases. And so to be enjoyable, a relationship must become more and more complex. You see the pattern, right? Even here, you have the opportunity to make your sex life more enjoyable, but you need to put conscious effort and become more fine-tuned uh, around the whole activity. Eastern cultures are better than us at making things enjoyable and they have perfected them so much that they combine the physical and the mental. We are going to look at the mental in the next chapter, but what Eastern activities such as yoga and martial arts do is that they combine the mental and the physical and, and the such things become even more enjoyable. And then finally we have simply the senses. Seeing, hearing and tasting each provide an endless amount of opportunities for enjoyment, like music, like art, uh, like nature. And that's it. So today, this was a quick list. There are even more opportunities for enjoyment coming to you. I'm going to talk about the enjoyment uh, that can take place in activities in the mind. A personal note, the more I read this book and talk about it, the more I am entering a sense of abundance because it's really sinking in that um, enjoyment is something that doesn't depend on your life circumstances. It, it really depends on your attitude towards it and your willingness to put an effort and become more sophisticated about it. And so it helps me overcome my own anxieties about being successful in what I do and, and having certain external rewards or outcomes such as being popular, such as earning money and so on. And I'm really noticing how in the last days while reading these books, 
I am I'm consciously turning towards the activity itself and trying to make it more enjoyable. So I, I think that speaks for the concepts presented in this book. Thank you for watching. It really helps me to become better if I get some signals from you. So if you liked it, like it. If you have a question, ask a question. If you think this is worth seeing, then share it with other people. If you want to have more of this, subscribe, click on the bell so that you get notifications. In other words, to make the experience with me more enjoyable, engage. Okay, thank you. Bye.